Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Hello and welcome back guys to a brand new video. Hello and welcome back guys to a brand new video. So this video. So as you can see, it's been almost two years since my last video. And all that was due to burnout. Yep. When I started uploading videos, I used to upload a video every week. And sometimes even less than that. So I had to make the game, record, and edit every day during the lockdown and quarantine back in 2020. Which used to take around 12 hours a day doing all that for over 4 months. And that was exhausting that I decided back then to just stop. Recently, I attended an event that had video game developers. And seeing all that brought me back the motivation. And of course, I need to make sure not to do the same mistake two years ago, so I will not pressure myself and I will work my way out smoothly and enjoying what I'm doing. Of course, I had to redownload Unity again and I really like this dark mode they added. I think it used to be only for paid versions. I always prefer the tool that I used to be in dark mode. I feel it's easier to see and more relaxing. For the game concept, I didn't really have a clear idea yet on what I'm making. All I had in mind is top-down, pixel art, inventory. Literally that's it. <laughs> I really like the game that requires grinding and RPG styles, that's why I got excited for this idea. So I went to search if there is any free assets available in the internet and I found this free tile set that I downloaded that seemed to suit the environment I wanted, in which I found this character sprite with different animations, as well as this tile set that had a lot of different objects that can make a really nice atmosphere. For the character I wanted to change his hair color to black so I imported the sprite in photoshop and this is how it was looking after that I had to change it in every frame. Then based on that character I made two new characters that will be working as NPCs as you can see right here. Since I never worked with Unity's tiles map I wanted to make a prototype using the tileset I got. I had to use another tileset that had rocks to add to the design and this is how it was looking so far. I also added an animation to the water to give it more life. It was just uh, a prototype to test Unity style map. I wanted the game to have like a main city or village that you can go back to every time. So I started designing it and I actually was pretty happy with the results. I don't know, what do you think? I was planning in the future to add items that you can buy from these shops available in the village as well as add a whole new area in that cave where the knight is standing but that might change in the future, who knows. So I jumped ahead to create the player animations for walking and attacking for all 4 directions. Now to be honest, getting pre-made assets saves a lot of time and hard work. So I wanna thank this arts for providing these assets for free. And I finally have a character that can move as in a top down game as well as attack animation for all directions. To get the first feeling of the game I had to add at least an enemy in the scene where I got this sprite of a slime enemy, but only contained the horizontal axis animation, but that's ok for now, no problem. I slapped those sprites to make the animation in unity and I made the enemy AI. So as you can see if I'm out of the enemy range he won't attack me as soon as I get close, he starts chasing me. I can escape by getting out of his range and when he attacks me I receive a damage which doesn't do anything for now besides changing the player color and I can also attack the enemy, he will receive damage and die. That was all the progress I meant that I wanted to share with you to get myself used again to making videos. In the end we are all humans and we have emotions and one of the most productivity killer is burnouts. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. That's it for today's video and peace out.